Welcome to another edition of Trailing Edge, ideas whose time has come and gone. This week, fashion. Well, the inevitable wheel of fashion is running downhill, straight into a sludge pond. Coco Chanel said, fashion has to do with the ideas, the way we live, what is happening. So what is happening? What is the current state of fashion? You be the judge. Here's a picture from the Wall Street Journal uh, from one of their fashion sections. This is something that they pinpointed as a terrific new dress for you to buy. This little beauty will set you back $1,250. So what is the difference between this dress, which probably runs about $40, and the one we just saw from the Wall Street Journal? Nothing, actually, except maybe the hat. Here we have cafeteria lady, you remember her. She dished out that slop that you would refuse to eat in high school. Here's another hat we can use with this. A nurse's cap. Yes, it's the school nurse. You could look just like her. Oh, what a thrill. But this picture is missing one thing in particular. Ah, she's coming at ya. Here's another picture of recommended summer clothing. Denim cutoffs. Now, we all know those because we've all made them out of our old crummy jeans. The one on top will run you $179. The one underneath will run you $70. You want them to look like you've cut off old vintage Levi's, said Mrs. Lonsdale. She also recommended opting for a higher rise and a fit that's not tight around the leg and sending them through the wash a few times for ultimate fray authenticity at the hem. Going a size up can also help get that hang off the hips look. Okay, you're, you're washing the jeans, you're cutting them off, you want them to look old, you want them to look frayed. Aren't they already in your closet? They are in your closet. Now guys, just in case you think I forgot you, men's fashion has, it, it's, it's departed for outer space. Here we have a suit by Ducky Brown isn't really a suit. It's a clown suit, isn't it? If you saw someone wearing this on the street, well, I don't know. You, I don't know. You could call the fashion police. You could call the real police might show up. Now look at this other, this sort of tapestry floral outfit here. Now these clothes actually are not too expensive, but really, I would think most men would ask to be paid to wear it. A wedding, perhaps? No. You're opening a florist store? I don't know. Now lastly, we have yet another bag from Prada. The It bag. Okay, if you get a medium tan crocodile one, it's $39,760. If you're really saving money, you want the small pink ostrich, which is $6,390. If you're really going on the cheaps, and do want to pay your house payment this month, you have a large gray nap at $2,980. Inside all of these bags is a sort of dop kit, also in leather. This makes it really heavy. So this bag is heavy without anything in it. <laughs> so once you stuff it with stuff, not only is it costing you a fortune, but it's weighing you down and you'll look like a strange person being led forward by your bag. Okay, this definitely has a Marie Antoinette feel to it. We can say honestly that we, the summer of 2015, it really hit a wall, right? I mean, Louis the 15th, who's the, who's the grandfather of uh, Louis the 16th, Marie Antoinette's husband said, après moi le déluge, meaning hey, after me, it all hits the fan, people. Well, I think, you know, we could be there.